so I've been thinking a lot lately because um, I do spend a lot of time on um, Instagram um, take pictures and create stories write captions and I'm really not um, say getting a lot done in terms of like what I want to do like uh, with screenwriting because that's like my dream um, sometimes people don't like to hear the word dream when they hear the word dream they think that we're in a fantasy uh, we're imagining something and that we like to talk about it but not take the actions to do it so you know in 94 I, I watched Speed and Forrest Gump and Lion King and I really took interest in Hollywood and that's when really um, that's like my inciting incident when when I wanted to um, I wanted to be an actor so I went into the military in 1994 after the summer uh, it was around September and then I still had that dream in mind and I really was ready I was inspired and I was motivated so when I did return back to where I grew up in Northern California I um, I started taking acting classes, so I would go every uh, Wednesday, and I would do like commercials and scenes and everything, and I used to drive down uh, maybe an hour away from where I lived, and I would just really prepare, and I was really serious about it and ready. And then I enrolled uh, at a community college that was uh, close to where, where I was staying, and I, was, uh, I majored in cinema, and uh, I would do acting, and I would take you know film classes, and then eventually. Um, so when I got out of the military, I would uh, you know move down to uh, Los Angeles for the first time because when I visited Los Angeles in '95 for the first time, I went with my middle brother, and I was really fascinated by um, all the movie stuff. Um, I was fascinated with um, you know Universal Studios and some of the you know, the Paramount Pictures, and just like all the real, the, the movie industry itself. It was exciting, and uh, I, was, I was ready to do it. So when I did move down in uh, January of 1999, uh, I re enrolled in a college called uh, Cerritos College, and I was going to just do theater arts there, um, and it uh, I just wasn't feeling it. I think I was out there for like 10 days. Uh, I was going to stay with my best friend. I was staying at his place, and... 10 days of staying there, I just didn't feel uh, I was ready. Maybe I had this, uh, you know, like this, it wasn't a fear, it was uh, that maybe the acting wasn't it. And so I moved back up north and things changed, you know, like um, I ended up going to a different school, got into a relationship, uh, still had the dream in mind. And I went to uh, De Anza College uh, I enrolled in the, at first I was majoring in film there, I was taking like accounting and business classes and everything and then uh, I think around 2001, I, uh, 2001 or two, I, I enrolled in, the, um, I, I switched my major to film and eventually I earned a, like a associates in liberal arts and then I earned a, a film, associates in film I think around 2005 and then I got accepted into UC Santa Barbara Film and Media Studies. So so I went there uh, and then two years later I graduated. But the writers went on strike um, 2007. So I ended up going to grad school so I wouldn't lose time. And I was still writing, I was writing a lot. But I was doing more like academic writing and uh, it was more creative writing, but I wasn't writing a lot of screenplays. Uh, and then I was a clinical writer uh, for a hospital Florida, and I was writing for uh, on blogs for for other uh, like for domains. I was writing about the domain industry because uh, somebody had um, I was writing like a domain blog, and somebody had uh, they liked my writing, my knowledge in um, in domains. So they they hired me as a staff writer. So I was doing write, a lot of writing in other spaces, and then eventually, um, I think after the election when Donald Trump got elected, uh, my mentor uh, he used to be my screenwriting teacher and film teacher at De Anza College so saw him on Facebook and then we end up uh, reconnecting um, 2016 and then I had a screenplay uh, idea so after we we talked about our lives we caught up because I hadn't seen him in like 11 years from that point but I had talked to them on the phone and 
we had conversations over the years. So we talked about a screenplay that I was working on, that idea, and then from that point forward, we, we were been working on this screenplay. So now it's about to be completed. But um, there's some things I did along the way where I wasn't serious. Uh, sometimes there's moments where I wasn't delivering. And I think at that, like, I didn't want to, like, submit some scenes uh, to, to the mentor because I felt like uh, maybe that he would uh, tell me that, you know, it wasn't, my writing wasn't good enough in screenwriting. So, the, I mean, there was, like, some slight fear, and that's probably why I delayed it. Even though I knew that I was good at it, but when somebody tells you that you can't make it, then maybe that could dash your dreams, like crash it, you know? So I wanted to be sure. I think I talked to a, um, a script reader uh, that was in the industry for 20 years. And we had a conversation for a couple hours and he, he wanted to be a screenwriter, but he was really good as a script reader. He was like in the industry. He could have been a script reader for like Sony or one of the major studios. And he was saying that if, if I send my pages, he would tell me if I was good enough or not to make it in the industry. And I think that when somebody puts you in that position and it's your dream, then you're not sure whether, you know, that if they tell you, I mean, you're still going to have confidence and you're going to believe in yourself and then you're still going to do the writing. Uh, you're still going to write scripts, but that's kind of like somebody else telling you, like, you're not good enough. And that's probably like a slight fear I had. And that's probably why I wasn't uh, out there being really serious in the industry. But I knew that eventually I would, uh, get really good at screenwriting and do a lot more writing so that's what I've been doing the last three years more uh, I've been taking it more serious with the dream is this that um, I say like we're like on page 90 on the screenplay and we're about to do the teaser and proof of concept so I just been really thinking about the dream a lot and I've been having conversation with my little brother we've been talking every night and he was telling me you need to stick with writing he's been telling me that over the years like I'll, he was mad at me when I wasn't really out there writing, you know, scripts. And I was like just talking about dreams and writing stuff about dreams and trying to inspire other people, but I wasn't doing anything myself uh, to really say advance it. So now I've been really focused. They say that you should look back to the moment when you uh, wanted to, um, you know, to live your dream when your, your dream um, came to life, or it was almost like the inciting incident of your dream, look back to the moment where you wanted to, you know, live your dream, and that can really, uh, say, spark your passion again. It can re-spark your passion and uh, ignite this fire that will get you going. Because a lot of times we could just keep talking about it, we could have fear, and we're not doing enough about it, and we're just wasting time, we're wasting energy, and we're not really, um, say, moving our dream forward it just becomes a dream like a sleeping dream and and we, we have to have it it needs to be a waking dream so it's always good to just do it the more you do something the better you get at it and eventually you'll make it is this that people are going to tell you that it's impossible to be a screenwriter or be an actor or to be a director Nothing's impossible when you look at like uh, Ryan Coogler from um, Fruitvale Station, uh, from Creed, and from uh, Black Panther. Uh, Richard Linkletter, like he taught himself how to um, to write, and eventually he directed films like um, Days and Confused and Boyhood. Um, there's other film uh, other filmmakers that just really went all in, you know, and. Um, they they had a dream they didn't care what anybody said and they did what they had to do they took the jobs they needed to take to survive and to live that dream and there comes a moment where we could keep talking about the dream but we need to make a decision uh, we hit the crossroads and we need to survive because we can't continue to sink ourselves financially and you know really uh, not own a home and just really struggle when we have you know the ability to to do greater things so we could keep learning and learning and keep watching other people and getting excited about it but if we're not doing if we're not applying what we learn then we're really not getting anywhere so i'm making it a a point like i'm putting it into effort 
and I'm making it an actual like, goal to to get this going, to get this dream going because it's not gonna happen if I don't do it. So I'm gonna be writing more short films. I've been writing commercials, and I just need to really build my portfolio and just get really big things going. Because if you keep working at it, you get your drafts and you do multiple drafts, you keep revising, then I, I believe that it could lead to something. So if you're a screenwriter, um, just really believe, believe in yourself, do the work, put the effort in, the energy, the time, really schedule yourself, just be disciplined. You don't have to, I mean, if you have passion for it, you could, you could have fun doing it, but you could treat it like a job if you want and just assign time to do it. So I'm going to be writing daily. I'm going to write on these days. I'm going to do this. I'm going to read. I'm going to take notes. You don't have to always be on the computer. You could take notes in a journal, write with a pen. Uh, you could read books, like screenwriting books. You could watch, um, you know, um, watch videos on YouTube. You could also um, listen to podcasts like Bulletproof Screenplay, but don't always spend so much time learning. The best way to learn is to keep writing. Whether it's good or bad, uh, sometimes you, we could be our worst critic. We could put a lot of pressure on ourselves to say, like, you know, I don't like these scenes, and I don't like these things uh, that I'm working on, you know. But when it's said and done, and we do it, because doing, we got to be doing. Like, don't say, like, I'm going to, or I'm about to, or I'm working. Like, just say, I'm doing it. I'm doing it. I'm living this dream. I'm doing it. I'm getting things done. I'm making things happen. I'm not wasting time. I'm not wasting energy. And a lot of times, some people just go around online and just look at things and uh, take part in, like, gossip and just get involved with other people's conflict and drama. But sometimes their lives could be a mess. And we don't want to get into these situations where our lives are a mess and, and that we're focused on other people's lives. We could help people and we could be, you know, a good person, but there comes a time where we, we have to figure out things in our life, what direction we're going to go, and we need uh, to really concentrate, have discipline, and just really be um, focused on, on the dream. So I believe if you do that, then you're going to accomplish things. So best of luck on your dream. And live it, you know, don't waste time.